Oh my goodness. Boys. Give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Coach. The rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Feeds the G, launches it, and the basket. There it is. That's a trip. He's got 11 points. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but, you know, the defense still needs to keep an eye on him. Brooks kicks to Williams. Launches That's a three, trip. And he gets the bucket. Good God. Williams has See, they're so far ahead, they make it impossible to catch up. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, Mike Brown was just going over the plan with his team. He said, now's the time to open things up. Let's start firing away and get that defense on the ropes. Get around them. The other area he brought up was the importance of their defense against the transition game. He needs his team to get back and stay active at all times. Guys, it's close. A decent hold to dig themselves out of, but still a lot of time left to do it. We'll see if those adjustments help. Thank you, Doris. Off his foot. Oh. And the ref saying he kicked him. <laughs> Well, I pretty much jumped up and, yeah, kicked it out of his hands. <laughs> oh! Stolen away. That still was a product of active hands and outstanding defensive And he was fouled. Let's check out some of the best shooting teams out there. Second, the Cavaliers. You know, this team really? has been outstanding in terms of shooting percentage. Any team Damn. that can shoot this well can only because of me. give themselves a much better chance to win. They share the ball, they take high-quality shots, and they're always on the same page offensively. <laughs> Come on, G. That free throw good from G. Tell you what, you've got to give the Houston Rockets a lot of credit, guys. After losing their franchise players to injury and age back in 09, they've managed to rebuild this team without tanking for lottery picks or going all the way to the bottom of the heat. Very impressive. Harden the pass to Kim. Brooks dishes to Harden. Back to Brooks. Five on the clock. And again, yep. the Rockets good for two. And for the Rockets, they've been very shrewd acquiring undervalued players, trading for draft picks. Steve Alvarez. That was dumb. That was really Steve fucking Steve. dumb. Well, and then when they acquired James Harden, they finally got a cornerstone player. Good God, what have I done? Howard, you've got another foundational player. So all these years of, of tinkering and trading and moving picks and moving players. It's finally paid I'm not hitting them trays. The team he was hoping to put together. But an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the They're case. They're just dominating. 20 points ahead. A huge difference. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Bennett kicks to Quinn. Shoots from the baseline. Tries again. And nice. Up and in the basket from Bennett. Bennett's got six points. You know, with Bennett out of UNLV, you love his great hands for a big guy. He can really catch and finish at the rim. You start talking about his strength, his ability to absorb contact. I like his game. Steve, the point you make about the hands is really a good one. Nice. Great hands are not teachable. Good hands become better. Average hands can maybe move to good, but great hands are a gift. Yep. And when you've got his size and athleticism and those mitts, um, you've got a lot to work with. <laughs> Brooks outside. Easy God, they can't block anybody. He's got 17. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. Here's Quinn, and again it's Cleveland. That's, a clean That's my last point. There, that was fellas, the last chance I had to do that. Those. Harden outside. No good on that last second attempt there. So as we conclude the first half so far. And now, brought to you by Sprint. See who's leading the halftime. The fun has begun on this Saturday night, Bro and we're Brooks. ready to look back at all the first half action. It's been the Rockets having their way. Now yeah. they've got the third best record in their And when you take me off, get the gap the is games. massive. And they want me to catch Aaron him back Brooks up. It makes no sense. Much getting everything he tries against the Cleveland D. That's why I gotta work Seems on like myself as a character so they give me more game time.
This shit again? Come on. And he finally decides to give it to him. Lead down to 10. Um, so I got to get to 57. That's going to be hard. Then at the pass to Jack. 16 feet away. Can't get it to go. Terrible. And Houston will take it the other way. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this Which season. Which one's my man? Season, they had a very easy time with this club. And of course, being East versus West, they only got to face them twice. But I'm sure they wish they had them on the schedule more often. On the court for Cleveland. Inside, it's Bennett and Verishaw. Jared Jack is out there with D. And it's G in at the small forward position. Here's Verishaw with no. Oh, out, nice. He buries the jumper. Pretty, pretty Seven more boys. Timely recognition. I gotta have good it's defense. So I gotta be on him. Steve was talking before we uh, we got into that little segment there about playing a more, and it was two games last year, two wins. And probably a safe assumption. They've got a lot of confidence heading into this first meeting. Clark, uh, this year. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, they appear to be at opposite ends of the spectrum. Come on. In terms of talent, but. Nothing's ever a sure thing, Kevin. That's why we play the game. I like it. Good. Out of bounds. What? Houston takes possession. I was passing the fucking jack. Got a chance now to get caught That's up bullshit. on the standings are looking in the West as we make the push through midseason. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. God Earned damn it. First place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And of course, the Houston Rockets, a couple spots below. Checking out Ooh. Houston. They're a team that came almost completely off the face this season. Nobody saw them being in the position they're in. And I'll tell you what, the longer we wait for the bottom to drop out, the more unlikely it gets. I think we've reached Take it, Jack. Where we can officially nice. say that for real. I like That's the what we needed. awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Five more points, baby. Five more. Left in the third. Here's Beverly. And it's going to be two free throws through <laughs> contact on the shot. Taking a look back over the last month, Kevin, let's check out how Cleveland stacked up. First in field goal percentage. First in He's lowest turnovers miss. a game. And they're in the top half of the league when it comes to limiting opponents' offense as well. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that and they're on their game, they're tough to beat. Five points. So he makes one of two Five points. as the second one misses. Boy, they just can't seem to get it right from the line here. Yet they're still on top. That poor free throw shooting could come back to haunt them. Here's Quinn. He's covered by Parsons. Shoots. Again, the yep. clear score. That's a twofer. It's close. And Verjao fouls the loose ball. It's okay. Rockets leading by 13. Six second difference between shot and game plan. Screen by Howard. Here's Beverly. Oh, that let him through. And he drops in the way up off the glass. That was balls. Good screen. He's got five points so far. Well, that shot was made possible by the work Dwight Howard did. Quinn dishes to Bennett. Pass to Verjao. He kicks to Bennett. He feeds it to Quinn. The dish to G. The three. Got it to go. Yep. No nice. Left on the clock. You talk about two points in between the ten point lead. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. And I got the assist for it, too. To overcome. Rockets. We're still losing by 12, but February to get the dynamic goal, I need to get two for just a two for. In a moment now to check out our state <laughs> to the game and Hopefully we have starting. By a talented point guard. Now, this is what he I does. doubt it, though. Of plays he's known for, Kevin. Yeah, because we got the last one. Here is Harden. On either wing, Harden and Parsons can be out there with help. And it's Brooks in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. Oh, why'd I do that? Pass to Harden. Fires from the trips. Put the wide by Houston. Howard against Verizon. Oh! Four points. Yeah, but just another day at the office.
apples for him. That's what he does. Here's Quinn. I meant to pass that. <laughs> I want to do like a faker. Brooks gets the screen from Camby and play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Nice. Good call there. You could tell he was moving into the defender when he tried to set the screen. Yeah, lowered that shoulder, dipped right into him too. I mean, he was going to be called on that foul either way. Cavaliers making a switch here. Nice. And one. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today. They've needed it. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle Come on, Bennett. for the Rockets? Get that the one. Has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot Beautiful. As well. Only and one guys, out. I think you've got to give them credit for the number of steals they've taken away. I mean, a lot of effort on the defense from them tonight. Always going up for the alley. Oh my God. I gotta get a three to tie it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. He's all alone. But he can't take the shot. Here's Quinn. Brooks covering. Quinn. There you go. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Boy, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It seems like everything is. Oh, right he deeked me rim. out. Brooks with it. Now oh, still. Oh, I thought I got it. Brooks gets the Parsons. Harden outside. Nice. On the triple. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Oh. Call the pick. Here's Quinn. He's guarded by Howard. He's all alone. Inside Irving. And another yes. For Cleveland. Their three -point percentage That's that. A big leap up Ten straight the points. The second half. They're starting to find the range. Steve, the lasers I'll do what I can. are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Now the pass to Kim. Here's Brooks. Oh, I let him through. And he uses the glass on the way. <laughs> Brooks has got 24. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs. See, it has to be me. Why would you take me out if you wanted me to do that, you stupid fuck? The Cavaliers trail by five. Quinn kicks to Bennett. Here's Quinn. Brooks covering. Off the pick. Another shot. Can't get it to go. Excellent. Good God. Low. They've been strong on the board. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game though. And Brooks. Here we go. Colderon passes to Kim. Six to shoot. Brooks dishes to Harden. The trays. The shot is good. Damn. And it's an eight-point rocket lead. I'm sure that's a move off this line. Single three-pointer in the first half. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The offense has basically been running in place. They gotta get going. Oh, oh shit, we're catching up. Rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Kicks to Colderon. Corduroy. Harden outside. It's up a three. And that one's good. And the good Rockets God. lead by eight. I like the way that he's really skated for us in that three point line after not making a single one before the halftime. And Waiters kicks to Quinn. Fires the three. Well, that's out. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Houston making a switch. Parsons is checked in. <laughs> There's Calderon. I can still do it, apparently. Get lost, Cavs. Pushes it to Parsons. One fifty-six left here in the fourth quarter. Harden the pass to Howard. And Houston again with the ball. Come on, baby. The switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. The Cavaliers trail by ten. Here's Quinn. There's the three. That's good. Yep. Quinn's got ten points in just the second half. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They got to get more intense. Harden dishes to Camby. It's Harden with the drive. 
Parsons outside. Pocket six. Count that oh, he's back. wide open. They've been so efficient in the paint in this game. That's an area they totally dominated. You know, once they ID the edge, they Come on, inside, G. they just continue to attack. 122 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Quinn. He's guarded by Calderon. Someone set the goddamn pick. Three pointer. That one. Yep. Trips. I'm at six points, points or I'm at nine in a row. Win. So if I get another one, I have that objective. Now. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. Calderon kicks to Harden. Pulls up. I post. Offensive rebound. Good God, man. The offensive rebound gave him another crack at it. And he cast it. I did it with strength. I can put that jam clock with strength. Look. Gritty. Gritty. Here's Quinn. And there's yep. another one for the Cavaliers. That's that. I he took over. He's setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. Oh, you think so? He this fouled. game is there for the taking. <laughs> There's six points ahead. I've been raining them trees. Oh, good foul. Well, I think the Cavaliers need to change their strategy against Harden. He's got 14 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, no I've hit it way more than Harden. The he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with his spacing. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. I'm flame on fire, man. Shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Yep. That's good. 29 points for me. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Still six ahead. But it keeps going to Harden. And he's not missing. He hits the first one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. A different look now for Cleveland. Nick Collison's checked in for Verizon. Clark comes in for Bennett. And it's C.J. Miles in for G. Williams is checked in for James Harden. Here's Quinn, covered by Beverly. There's the triple. Sinks yep. It. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Oh, my Even God. Halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, Parker. They are going to continue. I got to keep shooting my threes. Shooting for Houston. Jose Calderon. First free throw is good. It's hard to catch this. It's their lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Here's Quinn. Here's the three. Here's Verizon. It goes! It goes, but it doesn't matter. So it's a narrow victory for the Rockets. God, I was on fire, though. Well, James, it certainly seemed the entire team stayed... I got everything. Look at that money. Good God. Now I can buy a better dead eye. Coach is liking that. He loved that play. You really picked up your level of play recently. Tend to get you home, and I thought you'd like to know. Awesome. Keep up the good work. 28 minutes. <coughs> oh, no, that was this last game, so it's going to be more this game. Greetings, passengers. The captain has informed me we are about to begin our descent into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Please prepare for landing. It was close, man. Hold on, let me see. Is there any challenges? No challenges. All right, but I should have enough. Yeah. Upgrade my dead eye.
That'll help out a lot. All cool. Right. Let's keep going. It's my next game. I should be at home now. I think that was four games. We lost all of them, though. But no, no it wasn't my fault. I was dominating, man. I wonder how much of a difference it's going to make having an upgraded uh, Deadeye. When you're on fire, though, you don't have to shoot perfect shots. They go in. Oh, Mavs. So we are away still. The American Airlines Center. We're in Dallas, Texas, the home of the Mavericks. All live on 2K Sports. A quick check now for starting five. Verjao wasn't the starter, was he? What are we going to be looking for Before. He get, I mean, he was. He's been for a while, but you know what I mean. It was Bynum. What happened to Bynes? I don't even know. Oh, I think he's hurt. I think that's what it is. And we're losing. Wow, not surprised. D'Alembert against Verizhao. And it's Ellis penetrating. And the shot's good from Crowder. Every time I come on, they're losing. He put that lead pass in perfect position for his teammate. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Rick Carlisle. Doris? Well, we spoke about their main defensive concern in this one, and he said yep. we don't want this game to start getting up and down because they can finish as well as anyone in the league. We have to turn this game into a chess match and make them work for every shot. Let's see if they're successful, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. The dish to Ellis. Pass to D'Alembert. Six to shoot. And the best of good. And he gets it. And it's nine points for Monte Ellis. So far, so good for them at the offensive end here in the early going. Boy, the field goal percentage is fantastic. Exactly the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Quinn. Dude, that was bad. That's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Timeout I shouldn't have taken it. I just wanted to test the dead eye. For the Cavaliers. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. It was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought, uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop. 